Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you from my pyjamas today, which is a very, I wanna say rare occurrence. Like I usually, when I talk to you, I am fully dressed most of the time. Well, I'm in tracky bombs. But today I'm coming at you fully pyjamaed up because it is Boxing Day and I thought I would film my annual What I Got For Christmas video. I've been filming one of these every year for a really, really long time. So if you are new to these, welcome i hope you enjoy it but i feel like most of you will know the deal here so i'm just going to be showing you everything that i got this christmas having a little chat catch up with you and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i hope you all had the loveliest christmas and had fun whatever you did however you celebrated um i hope you all had a lovely holiday so without further ado i'm gonna get started okay so i can't remember the order in which i would normally do my what I got for Christmas is my brain has literally fallen out I'm feeling so poorly it's literally you know when you've got like your Christmas cold mine has been like lingering for most of the month it kind of kicked in I also got food poisoning like this month has been crazy that's why vlogmas had to end early because I literally was just like lying on the sofa just dying I got food poisoning and then I had vertigo then I had a cold and my cold is kind of just like almost been like stagnating and it's like my body knows that it has to put the cold on hold until it's like I've got enough re relaxation time to like let it out and today it's just like come out in full force so it's been delightful um but yeah my memory is a little bit short and I'm just not 100% with it so we're just gonna roll with this um but I'm gonna go through little bits first and work my way up to um kind of chunkier presents so I'm gonna do like my stocking fillery type bits first um Terry's chocolate orange. Can't go wrong with one. I actually was really sad because no one had bought me a Terry's chocolate orange this year at all. And then I opened my last present, which was from my cousin. And she also got me a really lovely scarf. I might as well show you at the same time. Um, she got me this really lovely scarf. I don't know where it's from. Um, this is the one, I almost dropped a vase that was on my lap. Um, I don't know where certain things are from and I personally don't like asking the people that bought me them where they're from I know some people get quite annoyed in the comments about like me not knowing where things are from but sometimes I do feel like it's quite rude to be like where was this from um, because sometimes the person might not want to tell you and I don't know I just feel really awkward about it um, I think Christmas present giving is awkward enough to be honest without then asking where someone got it from so yeah i got this lovely scarf it's like gray with a leopard print trim it's really really pretty also got a terry's chocolate orange from her which i was so happy about because no one else had got me one and i hadn't even got myself one normally i pick these up when i'm like on the train on the way to london because i'm so obsessed with them and i just hadn't had the chance this year at all so so excited when i clean the flat later this afternoon i'm going to be smacking that on the kitchen counter and opening it up so that's a couple of bits i also got a box of after eights which i can cannot find wow where have you gone i also got a box of after eights so excited about that because they are some of my favorites after eights ferrero rocher uh chocolate seashells like i'm obsessed with all of those they're all the ones that your parents definitely wouldn't let you have any of theirs when you were a kid at christmas i also got a unicorn rubber duck because uh i joked to ryan um, when he was buying my Christmas presents, um, he was like, I want to get you some little bits. And I was like, oh, please don't get me little bits. Like, get me something I can't use, like a rubber duck. So then he purposely went and got me a rubber duck, uh, which is going to live with his rubber duck in his bathroom at his house. He also got me what is probably the best Christmas present I have ever received, which is a takeaway dice. And I am obsessed. So basically, whenever I'm in an hour over what takeaway to have from now on, I'm gonna use this. I was so excited. Because even if it lands on something and you don't want it, you know in your heart what you want. And it's also a great tiebreaker. So I'm very, very happy about it. I also got some Thornton's chocolates from Brian's mum, which was very, very nice of her. I everyone knows I just really like chocolate, so that this is a a running theme throughout my gift giving and I'm not mad about it because I like presents that you can use like either something that I can kind of like use up eat <laughs> wear <laughs> that kind of thing Brian's mum also got me some shower gel sets which I'm very very happy about because now there are two of us living in this flat whilst Ryan's kitchen is being renovated shower gel gets used up a lot quicker than it would with me so I'm very very happy to have 
all of these shower gels. There's a ginger and like berry one on the end here. I think it's ginger and berry, like cranberry and ginger or something like that. Something berry and ginger. And I'm so ready to crack that open because it looks like it's going to smell so good. And then there's also like coconut and shea butter in both of the sets. And I'm really excited for that as well. I just love shower gels. I feel like I've reached that age where it was like pajamas and shower gels are... I also got these pajamas, which were a bigger kind of present from Ryan, but whilst we're on the subject, I did ask for a lot of pajamas. They're normally something that I would just pick up every now and then for myself whenever I want to treat myself. However, with the pending house situation and all of that, I actually decided to ask for more practical gifts this Christmas, like things that I would normally buy myself or treat myself to, um, I put on my Christmas list instead, all in the name of saving me some money um, in the next coming months. And it's definitely, it's worked a treat. I've got two sets of pajamas. These are the set that Ryan got me. They're from White Company. They're beautiful, like silky, navy kind of polka dot. I love them. I love them so much. I got these in a small. I have a nude set, which I actually got sent the other week from, I think it was from Fresh. They turned up in my PO box. So I got a nude set that's kind of like, like an off-whitey nude colour. Um, I got those in a medium. Ryan got these for me in a small and they fit so well. I would always have gone for a medium, but the small is just so, so nice and snug. And it's so, oh, I just love this set so much. I think I will probably wear this set a ridiculous amount. So yeah, that was why I didn't want to take them off for this video because I was so excited. They're just so nice. I love them. So yeah, um, I also got in the name of saving money and things that I would normally buy myself. Uh, the Clarins Blue Orchid Treatment Oil. My mum picked this up for me. This is it. If you have not heard me talk about this, then um, I am actually shooketh because I talk about this stuff a lot and have literally my bottle in my bathroom is like, it has a drop left in it. And I've literally been like so sparingly using it over the past three months, knowing that this was on my Christmas list. Uh, I'm so excited to have another one of these. It is the best face oil for my face. My face loves it. So very excited to have another bottle of that. I also have some pajamas from my mother and my dad. I always say from my mum because my mum, I don't know, just seems to be the one that asks me what I want for Christmas. But yeah, my parents got me these ones from Victoria's Secret are really pretty they're like black with little pink flowers on them and these are more of a like jersey material my mum really loves jersey material for pajamas because it's really really comfy so she always gets me ones that are like that material to go with all of my pajamas ryan got me these little unicorn slippers i can't tell you how many pairs of slippers i now have in this flat it's actually ridiculous but he quite enjoys wearing those so <laughs> they're so funny i love them so cute. I also got two sets of White Company socks. Uh, I have a light grey, which I was actually wearing yesterday. I think they might be somewhere around here. Um, light grey pair and then a dark grey pair. I dance on my wood floors in the flat a lot. And so my cashmere socks always do end up like I go through them quite quickly. So these are like just permanently on any gifting list for me. I'm obsessed with the White Company cashmere socks. And Ryan got me a dark grey pair. Lauren got me a light grey pair. Ryan got me a dark grey pair. I love... I'm just so obsessed. I love them so much. I also got this mug, which is from my brother and his girlfriend. And they love getting me um, like astrology themed gifts. And I just, I love a mug. It's practical. You can use it. It's not one of those things that it's like, oh, this is a gift I'm never gonna use. Practical. And I love it. It's so pretty. It's from, it says next time on the bottom. So I'm gonna take a wild stab in the dark and say that it's from there. Um, so, so pretty. Thank you so much to them for that. It's always so sweet when they buy me gifts. They're really like thoughtful with it. We're kind of moving on to bigger, chunkier items now. My managers at Gleam got me this gorgeous vase, which is from H&M Home. You may recognize it because uh, in my, one of my Vlogmases, I think it was Vlogmas 3, my come shopping with me, I picked up this vase in H&M Home and I was going to buy it and I put it back because I was like, no, I don't need it. I shouldn't buy it. I'm like trying to save money, all of that. And they were so, so kind and bought me the vase. And it's literally, it's just the most beautiful neutral tone. Oh, I just love it. This is one of my favorite tones ever. It has been for such a long time. My nails normally um, are this color and it just has this gorgeous kind of line work 
face on it. It's really, really beautiful. Love it so much. Um, can't stop staring at it in the viewfinder. I'm not even looking at you. I'm just looking at the vase. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm literally over the moon with that. When I opened the box, I was like, oh my god. Um, yeah, so, so happy. I can't believe I didn't put this on my Christmas list. That was really silly of me. But thank you so much to them for this because it's gorgeous. They also got me a white company candle, which I have completely forgotten about, but it's in my kitchen. Um, I'll link to it in the info box below. Continuing with the white company theme, Ryan also got me the white company book, which I am obsessed with. I've gone to buy it so many times. I also almost went to buy it on the same trip where I put the H&M Home Vase down. Also put this back um when i was in the white company as well i was really trying to be good with my saving and it really worked it really worked out for me really well <laughs> because i still got all of the items anyway um i love this book i always kind of flick through it just a tiny bit when i'm in the shop never too much because i've never really wanted to go through the whole thing and then there's no point in buying it um it's just the most gorgeous book full of like really amazing inspiration images um for like interiors and stuff and it's not even all white company items within it but it's just like really beautiful homes some of it is very cottagey but not all of it and i just think it will be so great when i'm coming to renovate my own home it's just got the most beautiful imagery in it and i feel like i know a lot about interior styling but it never hurts to have more inspiration and i just love like the white company is very much my interior vibe really oh my goodness imagine having a con like a conservatory like i don't know back into your house like that oh yeah there's going to be a lot of not even just a lot of home interiors inspo in this book i think there's going to be a lot of like renovation inspiration in this it's going to cost me an absolute fortune <laughs> oh I love it. Genuinely sit here all day flicking through this. I will link it below for you guys. I don't want to bore you with it too much. But um, honestly, I just can't wait to get like a cup of tea, maybe some cheese or some wine even, and just like sit and flick through this because it is honestly the most stunning book I have ever owned. <gasps> so gorgeous i think it's a really lovely gift for someone especially if you know someone that loves like a neutral color scheme so ryan did really really well with that i was so over the moon but the thing that i really loved the most was this which ryan made and it is susie's iou menu and it has a list of things on it which i can at any point redeem and literally this is actually he made this whole thing himself like even down to like the pen has a holder like that is amazing. I literally cried. It's so funny. There's even like small print at the bottom. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm actually dead. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to put this up in the flat. There's a cupboard that has on the inside of a cupboard door. It's the perfect place. Like it has the exact space for this to go. Um, so I think we're going to put it up and I'm very excited. I honestly, I'm actually tearing up. Like, it just makes me cry, laugh. I can't. It's literally, like, the cutest thing I think anyone has ever done. So, yeah. Those were kind of everyone's presents, uh, I think. I'm really worried that I've forgotten something. No, I think that is all of it. I am so blown away by everyone's, like, thought and kindness this year and i just really love everything so thank you to everyone that bought me something um it's very very special and now as always like you guys will know this has been going on for a while now every year i treat myself to something um for christmas and this year was no exception i actually i'm denied about whether to do this because obviously um a couple of months ago i started looking for a house i think had it not been for vestia collective i wouldn't have gone through with this purchase because um, a very specific scenario just kind of came up where and this isn't sponsored by the way i'm going to mention the brand because i actually want this to be informative for you guys and i think it's a really good way of shopping for bags this is not sponsored this has not been gifted in any way shape or form i went on to vestia collective and i was browsing and i really wanted to i think i talked about this um in a previous video but i was really keen 
to purchase something pre-loved uh, second hand for myself for Christmas this year rather than paying full price for something that is brand new when the second hand version could be still in really good condition anyway um, I'm just at a point where I'm kind of just trying to be a little bit smarter with the way I shop and a lot of my bags like if I can from now on are going to be purchased in that way especially if it's something that has been around for a little while and there has been a bag that has been around for a little while and the specific print that I wanted um, has been around for a while and I don't think is currently stocked um, or at least nowhere around me currently stocks it. So I was browsing through Vestiaire and I came across this. This is the Dior book tote in the Dior monogram, which I am a massive fan of. You guys will know I have um, the bracelet that kind of matches this. I really wanted this specific print rather than they do like a kind of, I don't know if it's a leather, um, but there's a Dior book tote that is like a little bit shorter and kind of more stout. And then there's like other um, fabric like monograms, but this is the one I really loved. I really like the navy blue. It's very smart, but the neutral tone in it, it's not white. It's kind of like a creamy. I just think it goes with so much in my wardrobe. And I really love the texture that this monogram adds to an outfit. Um, I think it's something I would get so much wear out of versus like the other greens and reds. I That colour really offends me. So it's not a colour that I wanted to invest in. Came across this on Vestiaire. And there are a few of these on Vestiaire. They tend to retail for more than your, your general store price because it's not um, so available anymore. However, this one, because it came without the duster bag, I believe, was £100 less than retail price and I snapped it up. I honestly, I'm over the moon with it. It is stunning, stunning. So I was really happy because not only did I get a pre-loved bag that I really, really wanted and really loved, it was also less than the current retail price as well, which was amazing. So I'm super happy with this. I am over the moon, like the sizing is perfect. Lots of you all know I have um, a kind of travel tote from YSL, which I love. It's very different kind of aesthetic to this. Um, it's much, much uh, wider and also a little bit taller as well. And it's just a bit too big for like using on an everyday basis. Whereas this is a little bit shorter in length and it just makes it slightly easier to carry without just feeling like you are literally lugging hand luggage around. Um, so yeah, I love the sizing of it. It's so roomy, it's absolutely gorgeous. I've got stuff in it, but I used it yesterday, literally. I kept this until Christmas day to open and honestly it felt like, you know how you feel when you're a kid at Christmas and your mum is very strict on you not opening anything until Christmas day. It literally felt like that. I was so, so excited to finally get this out of the bag and it's gorgeous. It's held its shape so well considering um, in the way that I had kind of like packaged it up for myself within the dual bag. It wasn't um, like completely like flush straight and it bounces back so well. It holds its shape incredibly well. Like I'm just holding it on the bottom at the moment. I would have imagined it to have been a lot more flimsy, but I'm actually really, really impressed with how the bag is made and how it holds its shape. I'm literally blown away. It's so so beautiful i feel like navy blue is like all oh, this blue is kind of like the color scheme of uh, my christmas presents this year uh, it's definitely like a color trend but yeah just so over the moon with it so as usual that is my yearly bag reveal in this video um honestly who knows if there will be another one next year i am really trying to cut down not completely cut out but cut down on my spending in terms of bags and things like that just just in general i think it's smart when you're buying a house to be honest but yeah next year i think i will be very very selective with the bags that go into my collection um i'm also looking to sell some bags so i will keep you in the loop over that and as to where they go and everything like that super super happy with my second hand pre-loved purchase oh so great i think it's a really great way of saving yourself a little bit of money as well where possible it's not obviously something that you can do on every purchase on vestia but there are some gems that go on there for less than retail price so i definitely think it's one to look at if you're not like hell-bent on something having to be brand new for you i think it's such a smart way to shop and i'm so glad i took the plunge and finally made a bigger purchase on there because obviously you guys will know i've bought um like vintage chanel and uh i think is that oh, yeah yeah chanel bracelet my dad's golf ball my dad's chanel golf ball um yeah so just i really rate that shopping experience and i wanted to share that because i think if 
I come across a good shopping experience, I want to tell you guys about it. So yeah, I think that is my what I got for Christmas video all wrapped up. Thank you so much to anyone who has bought me a gift that is watching this video. Thank you so much to all of you for all of your um, festive wishes, Christmas love, all of that on social media. I just love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to be back probably in a couple of days with another video. I'm kind of, I lots of you will know I make a lot of videos um, during this time of the year. I just, I have nothing to do <laughs> and I don't know how to not work. So um, yeah, I'll probably be bringing you along for, ooh, I'll probably be bringing you along for a few bits here and there over the coming week. I hope you all had the best holiday and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.